Hey what's up guys this is Nayashek from log2.com and thank you for watching my video and in this video we'll see some basic CSS tricks okay. So this video is basically for the beginners but anyone and everyone can watch this and benefit from this particular video okay. So here we'll see some basic CSS tricks for WordPress website so but first let's understand what that actually means. For example if you see this website over here. Here you have this font, this letter over here. So for example, I don't want and I don't like this font. This is just ugly font. I want to change this font. So how do you do that? If you're using a premium theme, there are chances that you may have a option to change font. In fact, there are high chances for that. But if you're using a free theme, there are very low chances that the theme provider will give you any option to change this font. Okay. And again, if you want to change this menu color, this ugly menu color, so what do you do? So to do these kind of changes, for example, to remove this space, to make this thing full width, whatever you want to do, okay? CSS is very beautiful, very useful, okay? So we'll see all those settings, all those things over here. This video will be very useful. Make sure you watch the complete video, okay? So let's get started. So first come back to your dashboard and before going further we first have to install a plugin that is a free plugin okay so how over here uh, uh, on plugins and click on add new now over here search for custom css okay so we will be using this plugin the first one wp add custom css by daniel santis so just click on install now okay now click on activate Okay guys, so our plugin is successfully activated. Now you will see this extra tab over here, add custom CSS and on the left hand side. So just click on that. Okay guys, now here we'll be entering all our CSS rules, okay? So come back to your website. So first we'll see uh, comments and paddings, okay? What are comments and paddings? For example, if you see the header, in fact, you see the complete website, you'll notice that our main content starts from here. Okay, all these things are actually waste. You know, we are wasting a lot of uh, space over here on header and on menu bar. And the main content is starting after 30, 40 percentage of the page. Okay, so we don't want that. We want to remove some extra spaces from here. For uh, now, if you see, there is a lot of gap over here, you know, at the top and at the bottom. So we want to remove these gaps. So how you do that? So first go to this gap, right click on that gap and click on inspect. Okay. Now once you do so, you'll see uh, this uh, code over here. At the left hand side, these are basically HTML code and at the right hand side, these are CSS code. We'll be playing on the right hand side with the CSS codes. Okay. Now if you click on this or if you hover here, you'll see that this has changed the color. The blue section which you see is the main element and the green section at top and bottom is the padding. So we have to remove that padding, the top and bottom space. Okay. So at the right hand side, if you see over here, it says padding 90 pixels. Okay. So we have to remove this 19 pixels. So select that and just type in zero. And as you can see, when I typed zero, the uh, spacing both from top and bottom has gone. Okay. So it is very easy to do those things. Okay. Now what you have to do, actually these uh, settings have not yet taken place. It is just a visual you, you're just seeing. But if you refresh the website, everything will be same. Okay. So to do these uh, settings, what we have to do, we have to copy this code from here, this padding code, just copy it from here, come back over here and paste it. Now see, you will be adding and you will be pasting many, many uh, different codes over here. So there are many chances that after few months, if you want to make some more changes, if you want to, you know, remove, if you again want to have those space, you like those space for any silly reason. Okay. So what you'll do, you will have to search a lot over here. Where is your code? So to simplify and to make your job easy, there is something called comment. Okay. To add a comment, what you have to do, just type in slash this asterisk sign and just type in your comment. For example, header CSS. Okay. And then to close the comment again, asterisk and slash. Okay. This is not compulsory. This is for you, for your simplicity, for your easiness. Okay. So once you do so, just click on save. Now come back to your website. 
cut this thing refresh and everything should be fine over here okay so as you can see guys now those gap are gone now if you see there is again a lot of gap or on the uh, on this menu bar this menu bar is really very ugly now what we want to do we want to remove or we want to minimize the gap at top and bottom okay so what i'll do i'll select this thing from here right click over here select inspect okay now again at the right hand side we see the css code so first one here it says padding left 20 pixels padding right 20 pixels i don't want to change that because i want some gap at left and right of each of this menu okay if i if i remove that then what will happen everything will stick to each other so i don't want to remove that the next one is padding bottom 21 pixels padding top 21 pixels i want to change that okay i won't be making that zero because that would really look ugly but i'll decrease that from 21 pixels i'll make it 10 pixels okay and as you can see when i put 10 pixels you could see the changes on your screen okay now this looks much better so again i'll copy this code okay let me take this above now i'll copy this code from here again come back over here and paste it over here okay now again click on save come back to your website cut this refresh and everything should be fine okay as you can see the changes have taken place so this was basically a very important thing about padding and margin you can use it anywhere for example if you want to remove this gap you can apply the same uh, settings uh, same steps that we do okay now let's see the next item so next we'll see how to change color okay for example if you see over here this is an ugly purple color i don't like this i want to change this color so what i'll do i'll just hover over here and right click on that and click on inspect again okay so when you select this at the right hand side you'll see over here this color okay so what i'll do i'll click on this color now i get this color box now i want to make this thing red so what i'll do i'll select this color from here but this is too dark so as you can see this is the next option is to uh, decrease the transparency okay as you can see when i uh, just uh, make changes over here it is changing over here so the transparency is decreasing okay so this looks much better so what i'll do i'll copy this code from here okay and paste it over here so this will change the color of this thing now i also want to change the color of this button as you can see it is very dark red and when we hover over this we get this uh, ugly purple color so i want to change both those colors so again i'll select this uh, button right click on the button and select inspect okay now i get all the option related to button okay so the first one as you can see over here is hover when we hover we get this color so this is the color over here so let's change this color to some good color okay so let's see whether changes have taken as you can see now when we hover we get a very beautiful light blue color okay so i want that so i'll copy this code from here just copy this code and again paste it over here okay now i also want to change this ugly red color so let's search for that okay first let's uh, save all these uh, changes and again come back to your website and see whether the changes are taking place or not okay let's cut this refresh the website okay as you can see guys the changes have taken place this has become light red color and when we hover this button it becomes blue light blue okay now let's change the color of the button so just click on uh, right click on this button select inspect okay now at the top you see this red color select this red color and change it to anything you want for example uh, let's make okay let's make it red but lighter red okay so i'll decrease the opacity from here okay the second option if you could see my cursor the second option is the opacity so as you can see when i increase or decrease that the changes are taking place on the button okay so i want a lighter color so this looks much better according to me so i am satisfied now i'll copy this whole code from here again come back over here and 
paste it now if you see and if you're noticing guys this thing is really easy you don't have to be an expert or anything uh, you don't even know, uh, need to know any basic uh, knowledge about html or css this is just common sense you can do it okay so let's refresh and see okay guys so the changes have taken place now this looks much better okay so we are done with padding we are done with colors now let's see what is next next is very important fonts okay this is very very important now i don't like this ugly font so what i'll do i'll right click on this and click on inspect okay now here i'll search for fa font family for example here as you can see the font family option now i'll select this and i'll change uh, to some different font for example sans serif as you can see when i typed sans serif the font has changed so this is how you do it very very easy okay so again i'll copy this code from here okay come back over here paste this code you can change this font to anything you want i just like this sans serif okay so i have done that okay so this is how you change font very easy okay now i also want to change the font of this uh, menu as you can see it looks ugly i want this is too bold i want to uh, just uh, make it very thin okay so what i'll do i'll select this menu click on inspect okay now we have to find the font uh, weight or font family whatever you want to change now we want to change the font weight okay we want to make it thin okay so scroll down and uh, here is the font family if you want to change the font family you can change it from here here is the font size you can change the font size from here if you want to make it bigger or smaller for example let's see uh, instead of uh, 6 18 if you want to make it 22 you can do it from here okay just change this 18 to 22 and as you can see the changes have taken place but i don't want to make it 22 i was just showing you guys okay so i'll change it back to 18 but i do want to make this thin okay so i'll search for font weight okay so this is font size font family okay here it is font weight it is 700 i want to make it 100 okay so instead of 700 just type in 100 and as you can see it has become thin but i think it is very very thin so i'll increase this to maybe 300 let's see okay so this is not working let's make it 400 okay let's make it 500 okay this looks much better okay so what you can do just copy this code from here come back to your website and paste the code over here okay so this will make this font thin now let's click on this save button let's cut this thing let's refresh and everything should be fine okay as you can see guys everything is fine i just wanted to talk one more thing uh, i think after this we can add one more point let's add a point uh, it is about this important because I just noticed that there was an important code over there. Okay, for example, if you, uh, let's again click on this inspect button. And if you see there are many places, for example, over here important is used. Okay, why is this important code used? This is basically not part of this lecture, but just because I saw this, I am telling you. See, uh, there are there if you if uh, there there might be many cases where you you have font different font sizes. Okay, but when you put in this important code, you are saying that whenever there is font size, uh, we want this as the main uh, size to overwrite all the different codes. Okay. So this, if, if even if there is font size 22 pixels somewhere on your CSS file, when you mark this as important, this will overwrite that code. Okay, I hope you understand that, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, now let's see the next thing that we are going to do. This is theme boxed, okay. For example, if you see this website is actually full with website, okay. Now let's increase the or decrease the size of the website. For example, if you zoom out, you can still see that the menu is going through this website. So this is full width, okay. So now what we'll see, we'll see how to make it boxed, okay. This is not recommended by the way because uh, 
this would change many different coding many different for example your website looks different on a browser on your computer on your laptop and it looks totally different on your mobile phone so by changing this you also have to change the code or uh, which which is the media query for mobile phone okay so that is a bit complicated not very complicated but a bit complicated so i uh, so i would recommend you guys not to go with this but still i am teaching you how to do that okay so let's inspect this page okay so we just have to go to the main body uh, uh, thing over here so as you can see this is the main body okay now let's see this is the main body okay fine so what i'll do in this body uh, text over here in this body tag i'll add some padding okay so just type in padding left okay and enter any value for example 100 pixels and as you can see guys when i put 100 pixels this has shifted 100 pixels from the left hand side now similarly i want to add another code and i'll type in padding right this time okay padding right again 100 pixels now as you can see first let's copy this code so that we don't miss it now as you can see guys it is not full width okay now here it is 100 pixels from both the side we can get a 100 pixel gap from both the sides so this is you can have some gap at the top at the bottom also okay but i am showing you how to do this uh, for left and right you can have for top bottom anywhere you want okay so this was theme boxed okay how you can make your theme boxed this is basically called the box theme and what you saw earlier was the full width theme okay so we have copied that code let's paste that code over here okay click on save okay refresh this page and as you can see the changes have taken place now let's see what is next background color so as you can see at present the background color is white okay you can change any color like we changed this uh, font colors it is similar very much similar okay so just click on this inspect okay body background color as you can see at the top is white so let's change this to some different color okay let's see for example this is aquamarine okay so let's change this to aquamarine so we, we just use this code if you remember so instead of copying this same code again what i'll do i'll just go back over here and change this code where is that oh here it is body uh, thing which you just copied and change this white color with aquamarine you can again copy this whole code and paste it over there that will also work click on save cut this thing and let's refresh and as you can see everything looks fine okay so the changes have taken place so this is how you change the color of anything for example if you want to change the color of this thing the menu bar okay so what you will do you will right click on the menu bar click select inspect okay here you see this green uh, color so what i'll do select this make it red blue green whatever you want okay now just copy this code come again over here paste this code okay now click on save again come back to your website refresh and now it should be red okay so again as you can see it is red so the changes have taken place so if as you can see guys if you are noticing it is really really easy it's not rocket science even if you don't know anything about programming css uh, html whatever the, those languages are you can easily do it okay and now as you can see this looks much better okay or uh, except for this background color <laughs> okay now let's see what is next okay so next is theme width okay i think we have already seen that okay the width of the theme but we can see the width of this section over here okay for example if you see this section is starting from here and it is ending over here now if you want your section your content to start exactly from here at the extreme left and end at the extreme right you can also do that but again this is also not recommended this will okay you can do these things okay if, uh, don't do this uh, box settings okay that would uh, just make some changes to your theme you can do this thing which i am going to do now now click on this inspect 
okay now this is not the thing when you hover here you see nothing only this section okay so what you will do okay when i select when i hover this section this class container as you can see now the we can see three colors the blue color then a green color then orange color so blue color like uh, earlier is the main element after that the green color the very thin green line if you could see that that is padding and after that the orange one is uh, the margin okay so here we'll see how to change the margin how to change the theme width okay so as as you can see at present the theme width is set to some pixels so we will change this to 100 percentage okay so as you can see when we change this to 100 percentage now this thing is starting right from the from here okay and when when now we hover over this we don't see any margins okay so margins are gone so you can do this also if you want to uh, it's all up to you okay and if you like this just copy this code again come back over here paste it click on save okay again refresh the website to see whether the changes have taken place okay no the changes have haven't taken place is there any mistake let's see looks fine okay let's again refresh Okay, okay, fine. This has not changed. Okay, so what you can do, we can manually remove the margins. Okay, so let's search for margins. Here it is margin left, margin right, auto. So instead of auto, just type in zero here, margin left, and margin right also zero. Okay, and copy this code and paste it over here. Okay, so you can do it both the ways. Just click on save. Now let's refresh and hopefully this time, okay, this time it is working as you can see when we refreshed, everything looks fine now. So you can do this also if you wanna uh, just, you know, use the complete space. If you want to do that, you can do it, okay? So this was about theme width. Now let's see hide element. Now some sometimes, uh, as I said, we did those earlier changes to get some good look to remove the extra gaps now suppose you want to remove this logo you don't want this logo over here okay so what you can do just click on this right click on this logo select inspect okay okay here it is the logo thing now what you can do you can add a code over here okay just type in display and here type in none as you can see when we did that the logo is completely gone with a simple code a single line code display none now wait i don't want this whole section the whole header at the top okay so you can even do that let's select this header right click on this header okay and as you can see when i scroll uh, hover here i can see only small section but i want the complete section so i'll just uh see i'll uh, hover different codes and see okay as you can see when i hover this code i can see the complete section is selected so i'll click on this code so i'll see the css of those code over here so here as you can see display is block so i'll <clears throat> i'm sorry so i'll select this block and instead of block i'll type none and as you can see as i type none that thing is gone so you have a lot of space over here okay so you can just copy this code from here, come back to your website and paste it over here, okay? So that is really easy. You can hide anything. If you wanna hide these things, you can hide this also. It's all up to you, okay? So this was hide element. Now let's see something about borders, okay? For example, let's see this button, okay? So uh, when, when you see there is no border uh, at this button, but suppose you want to add some border just to beautify the website, you can also do that. Okay, so let's do that. Let's right click on this button, select inspect. Okay, so let's add a border over here. Okay, so what you can do under this code, you can just click on over here to add a new line and just type in border, simple. Okay, just type in border, press enter and now 
you have to type the color of the border you want for example black so you, you can just type in black okay now after black if you see no changes have taken place we cannot see any black border that, that is because we have to specify some more things so after black just uh, uh, press the space bar and type in solid okay and as you can see when we typed solid we can see a border around this button okay but that is very you know bold very bold uh, very thick we want it thin so after solid we can again uh, enter the space bar and now we'll type one pixel okay now as you can see that border has become very very thin and this looks much better okay so we can copy this code from here if you like this thing okay and come over here and paste it over here okay and click on save by the way guys i would recommend you guys to go to w3school.com that is very very awesome website free website you can learn css html and many bootstrap any language you want php for free most of the languages are there on that website and very easily i i have used that website a lot and i would give a very good rating to that website that is very very useful it's absolutely free okay so you will when you see that when you use that website you will know more about css and you can understand more okay so that would really help you okay so we are done with border let's see what is next the last one is alignment there are many other things but i selected these things these are the most common and most important things for example if you see this text over here it is left aligned but i want to change this alignment so what i'll do i'll just right click on this text click on inspect okay and i'll search for alignment okay okay let's search where it says alignment nowhere it says alignment okay so let's change uh, it over here let's add a new code over here okay just type in text dash align okay and here type in center and as you can see guys now everything is center aligned okay so you can just copy this code from here okay come back over here and paste this code click on save okay guys so as you can see it was very very easy let's first refresh and see whether that change has taken place or not okay as you can see that has taken place and this is so easy so useful you know even if your premium theme or your free theme doesn't have those uh, features to change dif different things you can use these simple tricks to do so okay i hope you guys like this tutorial if you do so if you like this tutorial make sure to give a thumbs up to this video also subscribe to my channel because i will make and i also make always make very useful and very awesome videos okay if you don't like this video for some reason please 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 let me know the reason in the comment section below so that i can improve myself okay so make sure you comment in the comment section below that would really help you thanks a lot for watching